welcome back to my channel start with dawn today we're going to be creating a picture wall up above the tv in our living room and i'm going to figure out what i'm going to do with the mantle i haven't decorated because i wanted to get christmas up since we moved in so close to christmas but now that everything is down from christmas i can actually start decorating the house the way that we want it to live in we're going to use everything that we already own before we start purchasing things for decorations and stuff like that, just because I don't really know what I have. Stuff has been in boxes for months. So I got all the photos out, a handful of things that I think might go well on the mantle. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to lay all the pictures out on the floor first and get it set up the way I think I want it. And we'll see how everything works out. And afterwards, I'm gonna have to clean up a whole bunch of drywall from nailing stuff in the wall. So let's get started. So when we first moved in, we did not center the television with its stand to the wall and that's because we didn't want to use an extension cord and since nothing was hanging on the wall, you couldn't really tell that it was off center. But as soon as I hung this up, I realized that I had centered it with the television, which you can see here is not center on the wall at all. And so I'm just trying to figure out how much more I need to move it. And it took me several tries of moving it to get it centered. And that of course means that now I have to use an extension cord to put the television centered. Otherwise it'd be very, very obvious that it's not. So I ended up using the very scientific method of putting the picture frame on the wall, marking where I think the center is with a pencil and then hammering the nail in. This of course created some gaps in between the pictures that didn't look very good, but that's okay because I ended up having to use the three photos at the very bottom to fill in those gaps since I couldn't see them as soon as I put the TV in place.
So this brown blown glass vase was my great grandmother's and the story goes that she brought this over from Poland when she immigrated as a teenager. I don't know if that's true, but that's the story. So if you melt the bottom of your candle into your candlestick, it will hold it upright. Just make sure that the candle is straight before the wax dries or you'll have to do it all over again.
All right, you guys, so this is what the den looks like, all decorated with the window wall and then the mantle. I do have another mirror, it's a freestanding mirror, so it's six feet tall that when my husband gets home, I'm going to try it and put it in that spot instead of that three foot mirror and see if I like it. And if I do, I'll put a video of it at the end here, but I don't know, we're gonna see, it's way too heavy for me to lift, so we'll see if we like it. So, and then this is a little bit different than how it was out on the floor but I actually like how it ended up better. One of the fun things about putting something on the floor and then putting it up on the wall is it doesn't look exactly the same. And what happened here is that the TV was too tall or I didn't calculate for the height of it correctly. And so the three pictures that I had at the bottom were cut off. So I had to move them up and it actually filled in some spaces that were gaps once I put them up on the wall because they didn't hang them exactly the way it was on the floor. So I think it turned out really well. I am still unhappy with the way the right side of the mantle turned out. I'm just not pleased with it. It could be the fact that I have my stone over here on the left side that is Isaac and I's wedding Odin stone. So it's very important to me and I always want to have it out on display. So if you guys have any other ideas about what I could do with the mantle, let me know down in the comments below. As one more shot of how the den turned out, I really do love the picture wall, not so much the mantle like and subscribe and hit the bell notification down below to be notified when I put out my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!